Uh, now, this week, uh, churches across Australia launched this brilliant new campaign uh, to get people back in their pews. Uh, basically, what they want is uh, to put up billboards with words and pictures from ordinary Christians like yourselves, thanking Jesus for the simple pleasures in life. These are, I should stress, <laughs> legitimate. Well, you might cough. <laughs> <laughs> These are real posters. We didn't make these up. For example, this one here. Have a look at this. Thanks for hot chips. Amen. <laughs> I know. Brilliant. The task of this campaign was to get discussion about Jesus out of the stuffy confines of the church and into people's lives. A tough ask. Life is very frenetic and uh, we, we haven't, we've lost an understanding of who Jesus is and his relevance for us in our modern day life. We created a website dedicated to letting people tell the world what they're thankful to Jesus for. The microsite attracted all sorts of thank yous, from ones about the beauty of nature to ones thanking Jesus for inventing the guy that invented double V guitars. A simple app allowing you to upload an image and have your say. The images could easily be shared via the usual social networking channels. The site also allowed people to learn more about the campaign from the Gospel of Mark to what was going on in their local areas. The viral nature of the campaign quickly took. Rich theological debate was sparked, creating dialogue in the major social networks raising over 21,000 Facebook members and over 1,000 followers of the campaign on Twitter. And we knew that our original intention of getting Jesus into the public domain was a success when the campaign received national TV coverage, including over five minutes of talk on Australia's number one rated show. Thanks for having long hair and a beard. Every time people say I've let myself go, I just tell them I'm trying to be more Christ-like. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs>